well, it's the start of quite an exciting uh, project. Um, well, the biggest thing I expect we'll do while we're here, really. Um, that The barn, as you can see on the left there, has got a big hole in the roof. It's got another one opposite. And when we first looked at the house two years ago nearly now, they had it, there was already, that hole was already there, it's got bigger, but it was already there and, and we'll, you'll see at some point I'll get up there and look at the beams and that, the beam has got a big hole in it, it's very nearly in two, um, that purling going across there, so it's got to be replaced. Um, but the walls are, are sound and the, the kind of right hand half of the roof that you can see here is sound. So anyway, I thought I'd do a bit of a walk round see you know so we can see what we're starting out with um, have a look at the inside the structure of the roofs is, is, is very traditional kind of structure it's a raised crook roof which means that the what we'll see when we go inside but it means that the beams start kind of part way up the wall um, that then make the main crooks that that form the shape of the roof um, and we'll, we'll go around and have a look at the back of it and then we'll have a look at the inside um, but yeah the the the, gen the walls and so on, the structure of it are fine, it's just the main thing is the roof that's, that's part of it, it's absolutely had it. Um, I'll try and zoom in a bit. So yeah, you can see there, that particular pearl in those two there are quite rotten, but when, you get in, when we get inside you'll see that it's not that big a span, um, and, and, because, and luckily the crooks are solid. For the most part there's a bit of repair in one of them but for the most part they're solid so we can just replace the purlins and I've got, already got some timber to do that. So we'll, we'll go and have a look at the back now. So here's the back of the barn um, and you can see over here, just try and zoom in a bit, you can see we've got a matching hole at the back to the front. Um, but the interesting thing at the back, I realised, is that at some point that section there has been changed. It's, it's not that easy to see maybe in the film, but it changes angle. I'll go a bit closer in a minute. And uh, it looks like they've actually raised the wall up at some point by a couple of foot. And the only sort of reason I can come up with why they might have done that is to make the taller door. Um, and if you, if you look at the door, yeah, I'll have to go over there and have a look. Um, because it's too bright to see in the camera but when we, when we look at the door there's a hole at the top of it and it looks like the whole thing's been raised presumably to get some tall vehicle or piece of equipment in there which seems a lot of trouble to go to but it's also caused this section here there's like a piece of metal there um, and that is like making a join between the original slope of the roof and the new the new kind of angle that they've made to get it a bit taller so you can probably see there, if you look at the tiled section on the left, um, you can kind of see the angle changes. So we're going to get that wall taken down a bit. That's the first thing that's going to happen in a couple of weeks. We've got a guy coming to do the stonework on that, because um, I'm not, not really particularly up with stonework. So I'm going to get the, get the guy to do the stonework. He's going to take it down and then build it up level to the correct level. And then I can put the timbers back, which again, you can see on the inside, the crooks and that are in the right place for the original angle of the roof. Um, and the, the, the red part of the roof and, and if, all the front of the roof is all the original angle but they've just lifted that bit up and it's clearly caused a problem where it joins and that water's got in and rotted out and that's the one crook that's been a bit damaged um, and it, it looks a bit weird and it'd just be better, make it a much better roof to just get it all straight again so we're going to do that so we're going to have a slightly closer look at the door so yeah, here's the old barn door and uh, you can maybe just make out it's on a big sliding door gear so that whole door would have slid across um, and then there's a little door uh, to walk through it's down there i'll go and open it and you get an idea of the scale You can see everything on this is quite is quite big. Um, I mean, the barn itself is 60 foot long. It doesn't necessarily look that big when you kind of take a picture or a video of it. But yeah, it's 60 foot by 20 foot, um, so it's quite a big building. Um, yeah, we'll go and uh, I'll go in, in through that door and have a look at the. You can see the roof from the inside. 
So this is the this ends the kind of good end of the roof. Um, the light you can see coming through there is coming through skylights that are glazed, so that is all as it should be. Um, the timbers there uh, look sound, um, and you can see there the the centre of one of these big uh, crook frames that go up uh, that hold the hold the structure of the roof, and then we've got some pretty substantial purlins. So I'll, I'll come across and. can see there, there, they're big timbers and that's all oak, the whole thing's oak, um, so it's, it's a very, very strong roof, um, to, to, you know, it was just built to take slate, but it would, when they, for whatever reason, at some point then replaced the left hand side, um, let me see it from this angle, but, but you remember from outside, that end was all, all those big heavy uh, red tiles. And there, God, three or four times at least the weight of slate, and it's obviously got no problem with that. Um, they just they just built these things massively, but the there's quite a good example. So this is as I say this is a raised crook roof or a raised crook frame, and the what that the point of that what that means is if you look we can see here I'll just there's a wooden big wooden floor plate that's about four foot long sitting in the wall and that's it's actually there's a downstairs here so that's about sitting about 10 foot up in the air um, and then the, the wooden crook frame sits on that and then goes up from there and it is it's not it's not one piece it's constructed it's joined together, so it's not like a split frame, like a really traditional, you might have seen people making crook frames where they've found a curved piece of timber. I mean, essentially you try and find a curved piece of timber and then you literally saw it in half and use the two halves to make your crook is the, the most traditional way, whereas this is actually joined um, so they can cut it to the size they want and then they put a big corner piece in um, to make the frame up. And then you can see where it's joined at the top there and then braced and then that that one's got a steel tie on it but none of the others have um, so as I say that's the kind of good side of the roof and um, there's a piece quite close to the door where I'm stood that's the worst the worst bit of the frame you can see probably see there uh, there's some deterioration in that wood it's actually quite solid but that clearly that that kind of brace there that corner brace Wind, well, it's not really a wind brace, but that corner brace needs replacing. Um, and the upright, I think, may need to, I think the upright will need to be replaced as well. That I think it's just a bit too far gone. Um, it's actually relatively straightforward, just pull it out, can prop up the, the, uh, the main beam in the, that's going up the kind of large rafter part of the crook. Yeah, that's quite solid. So a couple of bits of wood to let in there. So then the bit we were looking at from the front, which is up there, it's not, not the easiest thing to film. <laughs> but that bit there that was at the front, that's, that's the worst bit that's rotted out. But I was saying, you can see, hopefully it's a little in shadow, but the, you can see, if I look at this part here, it's the same thing anyway. You can see the size of the base. And each of those timbers there, like those bits there, that is about, oh, well, what is that? One, two, three, four, five bays. Yes, there, that's 60 foot. So they're about, um, they're about 12 foot, about 12 foot long, about four meters long, each of those spans. So they're, you know, they're reasonably substantial pieces of timber but there at least it's only one span and there's there's that one span on this side that there's two of them here there's the lower one and then there's one above it and they've they've both had it uh, and then I think there's some shorter spans at the end if it light if it will come back in there we go um, they're about eight foot and the top one actually looks looks okay. I haven't been up there and inspected it, but it looks okay. The bottom one, I'm sure, is going to have to go. And then as we come round there, 
you can't, oh, it's a bit difficult to see. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in on it a bit. Yeah, you can see that's completely gone, that's broken. That's the only one that's actually snapped. Um, and that's outside the big hole in the back. So, yeah, sorry, I can't, I can't get better angles. Um, I'll show you why. There's not a lot of floor left. What you're looking down at there is, is kind of a lot of junk on the floor. And just there, you can see that's a big hole. So uh, I, there's no sort of safe way of walking or setting up the camera anywhere else than just I'm just stood right in front of the door at the moment. But we're going to have a look downstairs. Um, just to get a final look at, uh, at what we've got to do. Yeah, what, what we will be doing is taking this entire floor out. But we'll have a look downstairs and you can see the structure of it from down there. So this is uh, downstairs now. Um, and this would have been all stables. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. There's some old troughs and drinking stuff left. But this would have been used... I think upstairs was more storage. I think they would have kept possibly machinery, carts. I mean, it's, it's a massively strong, or at least it would have been a massively strong floor when it was built. Um, but I think, and then I don't think, I don't think they would have kept a lot of livestock upstairs. I think that would have all been down here. Um, cattle and, you know, or whatever, really. Mostly cattle, I should think. So you can see it's got a lot of, like these are the old beams that are holding up the floor upstairs. And we've got the beams and then we've got the joists going across and then above them you've got the floorboards. Um, so yeah, and this this central one goes all the way along with posts going up. Probably about every, less than 10 foot, probably about every 8 foot. So, I mean, it would have made it quite strong. That is the floor from up of upstairs or what would have been the floor so you can see there's a joist going across and then you've got the floor and what that is let me try and get a bit closer sorry if the camera wobbles a bit so what that is is a layer of like a cob uh, like a clay or like probably clay and lime mix and you can see there it's about maybe three inches thick and that sat on top of um, these oak floorboards that are about well I would say maybe an inch and a half to two inches thick some are a bit less some are a bit more all right let's put the tripod back now um, and so massively heavy uh, and, and we had a, a, the loft next door we cleared out, uh, so there's like an outbuilding on the side of the house uh, that, that's got a loft on it. And, and we went up there thinking, oh, we'll clear this out in you know a couple of hours. We thought there were just a few bits of rubbish up there. And, you know, literally three days later, with the help of my sister and brother-in-law, so four of us, you know, working quite hard on it, took took a long time to clear it. So I am slightly, this is it, more accessible, which is good. Anyway, we've got a little trailer there. And we can literally sit that under it, scrape it into it, put a scaffold next to it so we're not stood on the floor because it's all a lot of it's rotten. Um, yeah, there's quite a good bit here actually if it comes out. Oh, that's better. I worked out how to get the uh, little built in light on this camera working. So you can see there, hopefully, that that's all kind of bowed out. So that's the oak floorboard and you can just see a bit of that cob and lime stuff above it and a lot of the floor is like that so it's bowed out. Um, I'm sure it is mostly very strong but I, I'm not going to take any chances with it because at any point it could go. So this is the end of the barn. Um, not This was absolutely covered in ivy when we first looked at the house, well when we, when we bought the house a year ago and uh, we moved in. and. Uh, yeah, probably not until, I don't know, maybe November, a guy out here managed to get some of the ivy down and cut it all off at the base so it, so it couldn't grow anymore. And it actually uncovered a lot of the barns around there here have this. But it uncovered this little um, cross made out of old wine bottles. And uh, I say a lot of the barns you see these kind of things in. Um, but the neighbours who've, who've lived here, well, I think forever, and they came around and they said, you know, they'd never they'd never knew it was there. It's been overgrown for so long. Um, so now, 
there's not relatively there's not much to do on this it's just got to all be repointed and you can see so yeah that's got to be repointed we may we were talking at one point about putting a wider door even putting a garage door in there which i think i think we're probably not going to do now we may put a slightly wider door in i don't i don't know we'll see where we get to but that's just going to be repointed cleaned up certainly a new door um and yeah and hopefully that's about it for the end of it but uh yeah it's uh it'll be good so yeah as you can see uh quite a lot of work to do um we're going to put we're going to take all of that old floor out and then what we'll do eventually is we'll put back in the floor about two thirds of the barn so then the end of the barn uh, will be about a 20 foot square area that will be a workshop so I'll move the workshop from where it is now uh, in the lean to and I'll move it into the barn and then I'll get that set up so that when you're looking down from above because we're going to have it all open and when you're looking down from above be all the nice old tools and that uh, will be shown on there and then I'm sort of underneath the floor I'll put uh, there's only a couple of machine tools I want to get I've got a lathe that I want to get set up um, and then I want to get a bandsaw and a pillar drill and I've got a table saw so I want to get that set up properly so we'll get them set up we'll get really good dust extraction set up so that the top of the barn up here the, the upstairs will, will be kept free of dust um, and it's just much nicer to work so that that's all good, and then under that floor we'll be able we'll have space for a uh, boiler room. We're going to get a wood gasifying boiler that will that will burn logs um, and heat a big old about three thousand litre thermal store, which I'm going to make. Um, hopefully, might get started on that this year, but could well end up being next year. Uh, and and then the then we'll have a, a laundry room, um, and then we'll have like a boot room. So there's another stable door. Uh, on the front and we'll be able to come into that kind of if the dogs are all wet and muddy we can wash them down towel them down take our boots and coats off and then come into the house that way uh, which would be a lot nicer because the moment we come straight into the lounge which is isn't ideal um, so yeah so that's the that's the kind of long-term plan I mean I think it'll take a good couple of years three years to get it all done there's no mad rush the only real rush relative rush nothing's rushed here <laughs> relative rush is to do the roof this side um, and yeah get that stripped off and watertight because there's some bad rot I realise when I'm taking out some wood uh, that's, that's badly rotted so anyway that's all come out and then that will make it secure because at the moment literally even sitting in front of it where I'm stood now could have been quite dodgy there's a lot of slate up there it's gone now but it could have could have fallen on the head so yeah so then we'll get that get that sorted and uh, and then we'll have, uh, have the bar to use as well as the hat which will be great